Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Editing in images that contain perspective planes can be tricky. For example, if you're working with an image that has a floor, a wall, or side of a building where the image may extend to a distance and therefore change the perspective, editing can sometimes become difficult. Vanishing Point allows you to indicate the planes in your image and then make your edits honoring the perspective you set. To use this tool, select Filter and then Vanishing Point from the menu bar. This will launch the Vanishing Point dialog box that we see here. In this dialog box, Photoshop sets what it perceives to be the correct perspective by overlaying a blue grid. You can adjust this grid by clicking the Edit Plane tool in the upper left hand corner, located right here, and then clicking and moving the plane within the dialog box. Now you can also use the resizing handles to change the perspective if needed. So you can click and drag around to change that however you like. Now along the upper left side of the dialog box you'll see some familiar tools which work in the same manner as the rest of the Photoshop application. We have the marquee tool, the stamp tool, a brush tool, the transform, eyedropper, measure, hand, and zoom. So we have all these various tools available to us. So you make your edits in the dialog box using these tools and then when you're done you click OK. Now if you prefer to set your own plane you can do so by clicking the create plane tool in the vanishing point dialog box. It's located right here and then setting the four corners by clicking on your plane in the image and resizing as needed. Now it's also important to note that it's a good idea to create a new layer before you start working in Vanishing Point which will preserve your original image. So to use this, for example, we'll go ahead and reproduce this brush here using our stamp tool that we'll learn about shortly. Give that a click and we're going to hold down the Alt key to identify our source. We'll go elsewhere in the image and click and drag and we'll see that we're reproducing the brush here. And again, it maintains the perspective of the image. So when you're done, you can click OK and you'll see that we've created a duplicate of that brush but it's in perspective with the rest of the image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.